back today and I'm going to be doing a video on some Japanese cosmetics and fashion magazines that I got at a Japanese supermarket recently. And I was so excited to do that. Um, I've been waiting like all weekend to kind of finally have time to do it. But then over the weekend I bought um, a new designer handbag and I don't ever usually do reviews. I usually just wear them in like haul, not hauls, but I wear them in like outfits of the day or things like that because I don't feel like anyone's opinion typically matters. Like when I want, when I like something, I really like something. Um, so I think that everyone should go try on a handbag to see if they like it um, or if it's their taste. But I am just, I'm sorry, I am so disappointed with this handbag that I kind of feel like I want to share it. Not because I want to batch the brand. This brand is, it's Stella McCartney. Um, every, a lot of people love Stella McCartney. She's a big designer. But I am just really shocked by it. So on my face, um, I'm just wearing Bobbi Brown bronzer and then I'm wearing on my eyelids an eyeshadow and I never wear eyeshadows so um, this is kind of fun but I'm wearing a Tarte eyeshadow and this was free. I got it in a, like a Tarte gift pack from Sephora for like those points um, and the color is Park Avenue Princess and it's just like um, a gold and I think that gold just a simple gold on your eyelid during summer is really pretty it's very summery and then um, if you guys notice a highlight it's that hourglass um, diffused light that I showed in my last video and then on my lips I'm just wearing this um, pink almond candy uh, it's just a lip balm from philosophy um, and then everything else is the same I'm wearing my extensions in my hair my, the, I'll put the um, link below and you can also use the code so you can get 20% off I think it is um, if you guys are thinking about extensions definitely give these a try they're the best extensions I've ever put it, had in and then um, actually though I am, I am going to be taking a break from them because I'm going to lighten my hair a little bit more and because it's summertime and I live so close to the beach uh, we live literally like a half a block away from the ocean so after work Nick and I will just we go for like a swim. Um, it's so difficult to like swim around with extensions in. The waves are like pulling at them and oh, it's just a disaster. They get tangled. So I think I will be taking them out for a while. But I love them so much. Um, all right. And then this is just a, a Vince t-shirt. It's really comfy. Um, it just, it's like an oatmeal color. And then these are my two necklaces. One is a dark victory necklace and it's just a silver, like a really lovely sil silver thick chain. Um, and this is the metallic cocoa. And it's the same chain but there's um, a lamb's leather um, strip running through it with metallic like splash accents all over it. And of course I hand make each piece um, by myself. Um, they're just really, really beautiful pieces. I love la layering those together. So that's kind of what I'm wearing um, today. So I'm going to get started with the review. And oh my gosh, before I get started, I just want to tell you guys, I know every, a lot of people love Stella McCartney. So if you love your Stella McCartney bag, I'm not like dissing you or saying that it's, you know, it's a trash bag or something like that. Like it's obviously a great bag. She's a good designer and everyone, a lot of people love her. So I love her, her design. So this is just my opinion. Please don't get mad at me. Um, so the reason I've never opted for, even looked at a Stella McCartney bag before is because she doesn't use leather and charges a lot for these bags and I just can't wrap my head around it. I know you guys are going to say, I can't believe you don't, you don't condone that or you don't support that, you have two beautiful bunnies. Um, I don't, let's not even get into that please because I, everyone likes what they like. I love leather and I even love fur sometimes. I like, I just, it's everyone to each their own. Let's not even get into that. Let's just leave it at that because you can like your vegan stuff and I can like to wear leather. It's okay. Um, we can still be friends. But, um, so this is the dust bag and it was definitely an impulse buy. All of my bags are impulse buys though, so it's not that. Like I wanted this because I've seen people wearing these bags and I think they look really cool. I just don't understand. I can't wrap my head around the price. So anyway, yesterday I was wearing like a white t-shirt like this and short denim shorts, like light colors. So this bag, when I put it on, it looked really beautiful against um, like the light colors. So I think that's another reason I really liked it. 
but here's the bag and I okay <laughs> I don't understand I just don't understand the design like I don't understand it at all it, it looks like a trash bag to me um, do you guys hear that do you hear that material it's just seems so cheap to me and I didn't even realize this when I was holding it in the store yesterday because it was stuffed it was stuffed full and it would look like you know big and um, like it looked beautiful and I didn't unstuff it when I was there because I've never unstuffed a bag well, I've never had to because I've never I don't know I've never been unhappy with a bag that I thought I loved um, so I don't know it's so weird it like opens and then doesn't open on the bottom. I also want you guys to hear this, this texture of this so, I'm sorry, it's like so cheap. Like, listen to this. It's the cheapest lining I've ever felt in my life. So the lining is, I, I don't even want to put my hands in it because I feel like I'm going to like, like snag a hangnail or something. It's like polyester. I don't know. I don't understand it. Um, and then, this material, I, I don't even know what it, what it is. Well, it's like a faux suede, but it reminds me of like, we had these super tacky suede couches in our dorm, in my dorm in college, and that is the same material that our like faux suede couch had. It's, it is so like discount store feeling. I'm, I'm not even kidding. Like I. I don't even know what to say about this. Then, I, I don't, I'm, I'm just like so confused. I'm so, I don't know, I'm, I'm very confused by it. I don't understand this. Like, I don't know why I bought this. I don't know, I thought it looked really nice on. I just don't get it. Um, all right, so I'm gonna put some things inside of it so you can see, maybe it looks better like that. But I tried it yesterday and it didn't get better. It got worse because it is the worst black hole bag I've ever, it's, it's like, it's become one of those, it's become like a nail on the chalk, nails on the chalkboard kind of thing to me. I don't even want to touch it anymore because it's so frustrating. Oh my gosh, and then this like gets caught underneath and now it's like flipped. Oh my God, this is so I'm sorry, I know you guys probably haven't been like them. I don't like it. Okay, so that's with, with full. That's full. It does look better full. But it just still looks like a trash bag to me. And then, like, opening it, you can't, like, it's just too big at the bottom. So you can't, like, find anything. Oh, my God. And that, that lighting is just horrible. It's, like, so, it's so discount store feeling. I don't know. I'm just, I've never been so disappointed with something that's supposed to be high quality ever. So I just figured I would show it to you. And because I just got it yesterday, it's kind of fresh to me. So I don't know. It's not, ooh, I just, it's really irritating to me. I don't know. Okay. Okay. I gotta, I gotta put it down, but it's just gonna fold, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I don't like it. Okay, well that's my honest opinion about it and I don't mean to be like, be like judgmental or dis or like say that she's not a good designer because obviously she is, but that's just my opinion on that one design. I, I'm, it's definitely gonna go back. Okay, so now on to some more, more fun stuff. Let's get to go on to this part that I was really excited to film until I got that bag and figured I really do want to show it because I'm just so confused by it. I guess what I would, what the, I'm, I think I'm just really confu not confused. I'm very disappointed because I proved myself right. There's a reason why I never went for that bag because it, I didn't understand, like, I just don't understand where the cost is going for that thing. I, I, there's, it's not in the leather, it's not in the chain because the chain is ex literally almost identical to my Dark Victory. Um, chain, so it's, it, it's, I don't know how it's eleven hundred dollars. I maybe just the name, but the design is so poorly done. I don't know. So I'm just disappointed. I think because I like the way the bag looks on people sometimes, but it's so, the, it feels awful. Okay. 
So next, um, I want to show you guys the fashion magazines that I got from from Mitsuya. So yeah, I don't know if I already mentioned this, but the supermarket that I go to get my fashion magazines at and all these cosmetics I'm going to show you, Japanese cosmetics, is Mitsuya in Los Angeles. And um, it's a really small supermarket. It's very, um, like, you probably would, just, would miss it. You probably wouldn't even, like, notice it. But um, I love going there, like, every couple months to get new fashion magazines and um, look at, like, just kind of, like, peruse through their cosmetic aisles. It's just kind of a treat. If you want to, like, waste $50 or something, it's probably a good place to go. You know, people, like, go to Target to waste $50. It's, this is another fun place to go. <laughs> but, um, all right, so another thing about fashion magazines is, like, I just I really don't like our fashion magazines here in the States. I feel like they're very poor, like, cheap. The quality is not very nice. Like, the pages are thin. There's just a lot of, like, stupid ads. Um, and I'm tired of, like, the same people on the covers over and over, like the same people that you see all the time. I'm not into like celebrities and Hollywood, they just don't fascinate me at all. So I love to like go, you know, like I love Asian cultures and stuff, so I like to see what's going on over there. And the quality of their fashion magazines are so nice. The, here's a nylon one. I got nylon and I got L, and I didn't get any of the Japanese brands this time because their covers weren't as pretty as the ones that I chose this uh, month. But this one is so pretty. Look at like nylon is written in like a gloss, and it has little daisies all over it. And it's someone I haven't seen before, and she's pretty. And inside, like every single page is thick. Um, has so much like detail. It's relatable. Like the fashion is relatable in these. They have things that I haven't seen. Um, I don't know. I just feel like in our magazines here, it's everything that I've seen, or it's things that I don't want to see. Like just not relatable things. Like crazy like dresses that are fifty thousand dollars or something like that. I don't know. So it's just really cool. It's very well done, and it's just fun to flip through. So. If you guys are like into the Asian kind of culture and stuff like I am, I think maybe trying some Asian magazines is really a fun thing to do. I got another nylon magazine. And then last month I got this Vogue um, Japanese one. And I think she's probably like an Australian model or something. I don't know who she is, but she's really pretty. And then I also got this one, this, yeah, this last week, and it's the Elle magazine. It has Giselle in the front, and I'm kind of sick of Giselle too, sick of seeing her at least, because she's everywhere. But I thought that the um, magazine itself was very pretty and perfect for summer. And another thing, um, like with this one, for example, it came with this really pretty or cool pouch, and it's like a pouch, super pouch, about this big, and it had like palm trees on the front, canvas bag. It's perfect for like bringing to the beach or something. Um, and it was 10, the magazine was $10.54, and that came with that cool zipper pouch. So, um, you know, I can't read them or anything, but it's just fun to flip through, and they're really nice to have on the coffee table. They're really, like, good quality pieces. I really like them. Right, so then some of the cosmetics I got. I love um, the cosmetics at, the, um, at Mitsuya or any little Japanese kind of, ch Japanese Korean, um, supermarket. Um, everything is about double that it is here. So if you're going to buy a CC cream at Walgreens, it's going to be maybe $10 and at, it's at the Japanese store, it's going to be like 20 So everything here is double the price because it's, you know, Japanese um, products are Japanese currency. They're, it's more expensive over there. So the first thing I got were these two little nail polishes. And these are um, pretty kind of well-known brand, PA or PA, I don't know. But they're just glitter nail polishes. And I love doing my nails at home now because I found those Sally Hansen quick drop, quick dry nail drops, and they literally dry my nails in a minute. So I've been doing my nails all the time now at home. So I got those. And then I got these masks, and I love to try new masks. And I got these because I saw that they looked really kind of um, like juicy and thick, like a towel. And they did. They were really, really nice and thick and very wet. But this brand, I remember I've tried it before, and it doesn't smell nice to me. It smells peppery. It doesn't smell floral or fresh. It almost smells like I'm going to sneeze. Then I got these um, 
tweezers and I love tweezers. I love really good quality tools. Any kind of like tool stuff that I buy is always going to be a good quality because it, if it's not good quality, it's going to break or it's not going to work like it should. So tools are important to me and these are made in Germany and I feel like the German tweezers are always the best. Then I got this baby hand hand treatment mask and they're just, I think they're little like paper gloves that you put your hands in and the packaging is so cute. Then I got this new BB cream and it's in a pretty kind of pearlized or metallic um, pink case or um, package and I got number two and it does come in number one or number two. Number two is the one that I thought looked best on me. I'm not going to open it right now um, yet. And then this is something that I haven't opened either and it's called Real Doll um, Makeup Base. So I think it's like a facial smoother. You guys know I really like those and this one it says that it leaves the skin like a doll without the ruggedness. So I'm going to try it. I have so many facial smoothers right now so I don't really know why I bought this because I, I don't know. I'm a sucker for packaging and stuff. Yeah, it just gives a very soft, smooth surface. I don't, you guys probably can't tell. But it's, I don't think it's any better than like the ROC one that I would use. I think that it's just, um, it's in like a, um, it's not in a tube form. Then I got the, these, and these were so weird. They're lip masks, and they're just these pieces of paper that are like a shape of like a big lip. And I used one over the weekend, and I didn't find that it was like spectacular. I I just feel like it's it, it was just kind of fun or like fun to do, but I won't be buying it again. It didn't really didn't do anything. Um, the last thing that I bought that I have tested and I really 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 like. You guys, um, if you can find this, you should get it. If you like to have a white, uh, if you like the jet, like the Asian whitening stuff, but maybe isn't permanent, because I know a lot of their stuff is permanent whitening stuff, whitening um, solution stuff. This one is the CC White Base, and even if you don't like a white face, I think it's nice to have white here, here, and here. I'm not wearing it today, but uh, I tried it on my hand earlier. I don't know the name of this brand though, so I I don't know how to tell you what it is. Um, you can maybe you can just type in CC white base color control. Maybe that will like on Google might come up. But here's the pack, uh, the tube, and oh my gosh, it does leave like the perfect white, smooth surface. I love it. So here's what it looks like. Can you tell? Wouldn't that be so pretty to wear like there, just to like, brighten up your face? I'm really excited to try that because it just actually, I can actually see it on my hand. Totally can see it. I don't know if it's hard for you guys to see, but I can see it here. So that's going to be really fun. I really like that product a lot. All right. I think I will. <laughs> okay. Um, that's it. I hope you guys didn't hate my review. I'm sorry if I offended anyone, but... I'm, that's just my honest review, and I've never done a review. Maybe I'll never do a review now again, <laughs> but I also want to show you, um, this morning I posted a picture on Instagram of my purse, and like the, I change my bag charms all the time, and I wanted to show you what I'm doing this week because I have my bag charm on here now. So I have my little MCM um, bunny, and then I have my Fendi Monster coin purse, and then I have this, and then I want to show you guys how it looks in person too because I know a lot of you guys um, are interested in them and have ordered them now um, by emailing me. Um, that's the only way I'll be accepting orders for these because they take so long to make. It's all made of like really thick beautiful lamb skin. It's really soft and there's a lot of leather in here. It's really thick and um, it's all hand sewn and it comes in this dusty periwinkle or it comes in like a dusty salmon color. And if you guys are curious, the other one looks like, um, 
you can look for it on my Instagram. I put them, they look beautiful together on like a black bag, but it looked kind of like too much to wear against this bag. This is what I'm gonna be wearing for this week. I just think it looks so perfect for summer. So that's it. Um, I hope you guys like this video. And that's it. Have a great week. All right, see you guys later. Bye.